Hey everyone, it's Salad. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, thank you for joining. Today, I figured what better to do on a cloudy, windy day on my island than to show you five items that are super easy and sell super fast on Nookazon that can help you gather some Nook Mile tickets and bells super fast. So let's get started with the first option. So the first option that works really, really well, I find, is you want to go to the homepage of Nookazon here, and then you just want to click on today's hot items. So today's hot items are going to be items that have been selling really well on Nookazon today, and also just kind of popular items that are in Animal Crossing, and I find that most of the time this section kind of stays the same, like... Raymond or Marshall is always up here, but these items are always super easy and fast to sell and you will get offers on them super fast if you list them and make a good chunk of bells. The second item that sells really well is fish bait. This is what I would use all the time when I first started Animal Crossing and was trying to pay off all of my house loans because I would just spend an hour wandering around my beach collecting fish bait, digging up the little clams, and listing them on Nookazon. And people pay a pretty penny for them. I'm not quite sure why it's so expensive, why people pay so much, and why so many people want it, but they do, and you can make a lot off of it. Especially what I recommend is sell fish bait at the end of each month. Like the last week of July, for example, Dig up as much fish bait as you can and list it on Nookazon because at the end of the month, everyone is trying to catch all of the fish that are about to leave for a while and they need fish bait and they don't want to dig it up themselves because it is time consuming, but I feel the time consuming part is worth it for how much people pay for this. The third item that I recommend selling is Nook Mile tickets. I know... Most people need them for villager hunting, but if you're just starting out or if you already have all the villagers you want or if you don't really care about who's on your island and don't care about spending hours and hundreds of tickets villager hunting, you may as well work on your Nook Mile goals, especially the little tiny Nook Mile Plus ones at the top of the Nook Mile screen you may as well work on those and gather up some Nook Mile points and exchange them for Nook Mile tickets and then list them. People pay such an absurd amount of bells for Nook Mile tickets and like I... It's crazy to me how much people pay for them. Like, honestly, Within like an hour just by grinding Nook Mile points and then listing the Nook Miles tickets and selling them, you could honestly become a billionaire. Like you can make millions within like an hour just by selling your extra Nook Mile tickets that you don't want anymore. The fourth item is mystery grab bags. I find that people don't really care that much about what's in them. It's more so the fact that it's like fun to be surprised on what you're going to get. So I'm not saying go and put like, I don't know, a bunch of weeds in mystery grab bags and then sell them, but take some time to go through your storage and grab items out of your storage that you don't think you're ever going to use, don't think you're ever going to need, because it is a great way to empty your storage and people pay a pretty decent amount for mystery grab bags. I feel like people always pay more than what the value of like the items in the bag actually are. And also, it's just super fun to make them and like wrap them all up, all cute, pick out your wrapping paper colors. So, this one is great for making a little bit of extra cash and getting rid of stuff in your storage as well and emptying it out. The fifth option and the last option as well is a little bit harder to sell and not as frequent that you can sell them, but depending on who you have, it can make a lot of money and you can also kind of hack the system a little bit if you have amiibo cards. So selling villagers, 
is a awesome one to do. Anytime a villager is moving out, instead of sending them off to the void to become somebody's autofill, sell them. Put them on Nookazon, let people know if they're gifted or ungifted, and then see what kind of offers you get. And if you have amiibos, just take half an hour out of your day to kick out a villager that you don't like anymore with a amiibo and then list them for sale on Nookazon. And honestly, you can repeat this process. Like, let's say you have Marshall's amiibo. Kick out a villager you don't want any more with Marshall's amiibo and then sell that villager on Nookazon. And then if you have another amiibo, use that amiibo to kick out Marshall and then sell Marshall for like millions of bells or hundreds of Nook Mile tickets. And then just keep repeating the process over and over again. And like, you'll be so rich, you won't even know what to do with all your money anymore. I hope some of these tips were helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments below what items you enjoy selling on Nookazon and what you find sells fast and makes a big chunk of bells or Nook Mile tickets for you. And Zucker and I are very, very appreciative and thank you for all of you who have taken time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you found some new tips that you like and hopefully this helps you out some. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye!